And I actually got this for $3.12. This was actually the cheapest. Everything else was $3.62. That wasn't bad at all. I was all here for that. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a mini Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long. This ain't gonna be a long video. I did not do too much. I actually went to the semi-annual sale on the second day only because I was at the Tanger Outlet in Charleston. For all my Charleston viewers, if you're familiar with the Tanger Outlet, I was at Nike shopping, okay? Love me some Nike. And when I walked out of Nike, I was like, hmm, I see the big old semi-annual sale in front of Bath & Body Works and if y'all familiar with that outlet y'all know right across from Nike is Bath & Body Works. So that's my excuse because I don't really shop at Bath & Body Works like how I used to. I've said this before in previous videos because they retired my favorite fragrances. But I know that Bath & Body Works like to bring back the retired fragrances during the semi-annual sale. So that's what I was hoping for. Unfortunately that wasn't the case. They only brought back Cucumber Melon and I didn't feel the need to buy it because it was $4.95. And that was the only retired fragrance that they brought back that I like. They didn't bring back Country Apple, Seattle and Cotton, Pear, Berry, none of those. I was like, what is going on here? And those are the summertime fragrances. But anyways, so what I did pick up was three new fragrances that I am not familiar with. They were on the 75% off table. And I did get a chance to smell them while I was in the store, which is why I purchased them. So let me go ahead and show y'all what I picked up. So first, I picked up Margarita Cupcake, y'all. I don't know where this been all my life, but I've been missing out. I wanna believe that this and another fragrance that I'm about to show y'all, they came in the same collection based off their name and the packaging. That's what it seems like. So I don't know what this collection is called. This definitely came out when I was not shopping at Bath & Body Works, so I'm not familiar with it. But when I sprayed this body spray in the store, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And I saw the body cream too. Yes. So for those that are not familiar, the fragrance notes is key lime, sunny citrus blossom, and whipped vanilla. Flaky vanilla cake topped with sparkling citrus frosting fragrance to satisfy your sweet tooth. Facts. I love this so much, y'all. I've had this for about three weeks now. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've used quite a bit of it. Like I drenched myself in this. And I got these for 75% off. Both of these was $3.62. Moving on to the next fragrance. It's also a citrus fragrance. It's the Sun Washed Citrus. So this is also a new fragrance to me. I'm not familiar with it, never heard of it, never saw it, never smelled it before until I went to the store. And the reason why I picked this up is because I have been wanting a body spray to pair with this lotion right here. This is the Jergens Sweet Citrus Body Butter. I just discovered this last year at Dollar General. This is my favorite freaking lotion. I love this. You don't even need a body spray or a perfume after you use this. That's how heavily scented it is. But me just being me, <laughs> I like to pair it with a body spray or a perfume. So when I saw this at the 75% off table and I smelt it, it smelled very similar to this. I'm gonna be doing a summertime hygiene routine with my summertime hygiene products. And this is actually a part of it. Y'all, bomb combo. Last but not least, I picked up Confetti Cake Pop. This is my absolute favorite out of the three. When I smelled this in the store, I almost had a panic attack. I could not believe Bath & Body Works had something that smelled like this because I love vanilla, I love cake smelling stuff, and this, to me, this smells like cake batter. And I think on here, the notes is creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, vanilla bean, cake batter. Yellow cake batter, white cake batter, cake batter. That's what this is giving. I love this so much that I got not one, not two, but three body creams and a body lotion. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't have the body spray at my Bath & Body Works. But that's okay, because I paired this bad boy with the Vanilla Body Fantasies body spray, and I smell amazing. Listen, Bath & Body Works shocked me, because I'm so stuck in my ways, I stick to what I'm used to, to the point where I was missing out on 
this right here. I'm starting to open up a little bit more to trying out new fragrances. Not too much, but just a couple. And I'm pretty much satisfied with these three that I picked up. So that is pretty much my Bath & Body Works haul. Like I said, I don't want to hold y'all up too long. I don't want this video to be long. But if you guys shop during the semi-annual sale, let me know what you guys purchased. What was y'all excited to purchase? I really wish that I would have bought more because I think the semi-annual sale is over with now. And to my knowledge, they started selling the margarita cupcake and the confetti cake pop online but they sold out really fast i got my stuff in the store and after the second day when i went back they didn't have no more the margarita cupcake or the confetti cake pop i was like really they cleaned that table off so anyways y'all hope y'all enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all